Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be breaking down the ISO, which is a brand new SMG that's unlocked at tier 15 in season five. So we're basically going to take a look at the basic stats of the weapon and we're going to compare and contrast how it matches up against the current meta in the game. We're mainly going to be focusing on time to kill, damage range, as well as the recoil pattern. We want to know, is this weapon viable and practical to use for most people? So hopefully by the end of this video, you will be able to decide whether or not grinding for this weapon is going to be for you. So if you you guys do enjoy today's video our like goal is going to be 500 likes i'd really appreciate it if we could get that like goal and subscribe if you are new around here make sure to hit that subscribe button turn on notifications so you make your way back to the it's channel all right so we're going to be using this website called truegamedata.com i've featured this website multiple times in recent videos if you guys haven't checked it out yet it's basically a website that was made by an engineer who tested every single attachment every single weapon at 240 frames per second so the results are going to be as accurate as possible and it's a very reliable source definitely recommend you check out this website link will be down below in the description also the creator of the website has his own social media links here at the top left hand corner so go ahead drop him a follow show him some love for all the hard work that he does so anyways we have here the iso and a direct comparison against the mp5 now the mp5 is currently the meta in the game regardless of how many nerfs it's gotten in the past people just love using the mp5 it's just user friendly the mobility is awesome the ads is awesome so we're going to go ahead and do a direct comparison of the iso versus the mp5 in both multiplayer and and in Warzone, we're going to be taking a look at their time to kills as well for the various damage ranges. So first, let's look at a quick rundown of their basic stats. This is no attachments, by the way. So the ADS is much faster on the ISO versus the MP5. The sprint to fire time is going to be faster as well on the ISO. Tactical sprint to fire time, same story there. Now, here's the interesting part. The movement speed is pretty much identical here, but the slight edge does go to the ISO versus the MP5. Now, the ADS movement speed is a little bit slower on the ISO versus the MP5. So ADS ADS movement speed is when you're aim down sights and you're strafing left and right. That is what ADS movement speed is. So it will be much faster on the MP5. Now vertical recoil, we're going to take a look at that in the next portion of the video where I show you guys the recoil patterns and see how they compare and which one would actually be easier to control. And hip fire area is going to be a lot easier to control on the ISO. Uh, bullet velocity is almost identical here at 520 versus 537. All right, so now let's take a look at how these weapons compare in a multiplayer setting as far as time to kill and damage range goes so right off the bat we're going to take a look at the headshot location which is going to be the head and the clear winner for the headshot is going to be the iso the iso here is going to give you a 332 millisecond time to kill up to about that 16.5 meter range now if you take a look at the mp5 that time to kill drops off at about 18 meters so there's a very small tiny pocket here where the mp5 does start to take over but it has a much slower time to kill and keep in mind this is only for headshots now if you take a look further down the graph the ranges are still dominant for the iso at 35 meters at most so you can imagine using the iso is going to be very effective at long ranges however you know i don't really recommend to use smgs at that range i would say maybe 30 meters at the most is as far as you should use an smg and you also have to take into account the magazine size of the iso the default magazine size is only 20 rounds per mag so you would definitely have to put in an extended mag like the 30 round or the 50 round drum mag on the ISO. So as far as headshots go, the clear winner is gonna be the ISO. All right, so let's go ahead and change this to the chest. Now the story here changes quite a bit, but the clear advantage still goes to the ISO as you can see here. So the lower the bar, the better, obviously that shows that the lower the bar is, the better the time to kill for that weapon. And as you can see here, as you move along further down the ranges, the ISO does become very competitive and has a slight edge over the MP5. Now you only do get a clear advantage on the MP5 if you do engage in about that nine meter range, as you can see here, and you have a very significant lower time to kill versus the ISO at that same exact range. But the only thing is, after this range that's when the iso starts to take over and then again the mp5 in a really small window here and here again the iso does take over now anything past that 22 and a half meter range the mp5 is going to dominate now this is going to be where there's going to be a huge debate about which gun is actually going to be better in multiplayer yes you could melt your enemies up close and personal you have to play very aggressive with the mp5 however when you engage in that mid range that's when the iso is going to give you the clear advantage but after that at long range the mp5 
5 starts to take over. So let me know down below in the comments which one you would still go for given the data that is right here in front of us. So let's change this here to the stomach. Same story applies here. MP5 is going to be the clear winner at about a certain range, but there's some small pocket areas here in the mid range where the ISO does start to take over. Now let's move this over to the legs. Now this is a little strange here how if you shoot at the legs, you're going to have the clear advantage over someone who's using an MP5. So from about that 16 meter to let's see here that 35 meter range, no question the ISO is going to win. But you know, in a practical sense, how often are you going to shoot enemies in the legs, right? So you have to take those little things into consideration, which will factor in if this weapon is going to be for you, because I'm all about user friendliness. I'm all about what's convenient to use, which I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate to as well. So let's go ahead and change this here to Warzone and let's see how the meta changes. Let's start off here with the head. All right. So uh, for the headshots, I still would recommend the ISO because in Warzone, you should only be using your SMG for clearing out buildings or close range combat. That's why you run overkill so that you can run an AR or an LMG to handle those long range combat for you. The ISO is going to give you a huge advantage against enemies that are about up to this meter range, which is going to be 16 meters. But anything below that, if you're going to clear out a small room, for example, you're going to have a huge advantage with the MP5. But keep in mind, you do have to be within that nine meter range. So let's take a look at the chest here so chest shots still the same story applies but as you move further down the ranges here the advantage does go to the mp5 and the same story applies here for the stomach and again let's take a look at the legs now for the legs of course the iso is going to win because the damage profiles are a lot higher on the legs versus the mp5 so in conclusion for multiplayer and warzone the damage profiles of the iso seem to be very consistent with each other now there is a very small pocket of range in that mid range where the iso does take over versus the mp5 but you know like i said you have to factor in a lot of practical things into your decision so i want to know what you guys think down below in the comments so let's go ahead and take a look at the recoil patterns and see how easy it is to control the iso versus the mp5 all right so here we have the iso we're just going to aim down sights and we're just going to let the recoil pattern do its thing all right and for my secondary i've got my mp5 we're going to move over here to the side aim down sights and of course the mp5 recoil is going to be a lot higher on the verticality because we do have 30 rounds versus the 20 round mags on the iso so if you take a look here Honestly, it looks very similar here as far as recoil patterns go. So if you have a really easy time controlling the recoil pattern on the MP5, you shouldn't have any issues at all controlling the recoil pattern on the ISO. So let's go ahead and actually try to control the recoil pattern here. So of course we only have 20 rounds to work with, but you know, it wasn't, it didn't really take me that much effort to go ahead and control the recoil on the ISO. Let's go ahead and try to do that once more with the MP5. All right. And of course, the diameter is going to be a little bit bigger because we do have 10 more extra ammo rounds in our magazine. Uh, but as you can see, it's very similar to the MP5. You shouldn't have any issues at all controlling it. I would give it a good grade for the user friendliness as far as recoil patterns go. So taking a look one more time at the recoil patterns, as you can see here, they veer off up into the right. Same thing applies with the MP5. So they're very, very similar. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some example class setups that I would recommend to you guys to use. So for as far as the ISO goes, one thing that I really do enjoy about the ISO is that the barrel has this attachment called the nightshade. So this is something that you must use on your ISO. The nightshade is going to give you damage range, recoil control, bullet velocity, and sound suppression. By the way, all of these attachments are available on that website that I previously showed you, and it shows you the exact damage ranges, how much it affects your ADS speed, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So go ahead, make sure to check that website out after this video, but I will definitely put on the nightshade. It's going to give us that sound suppression monolithic integral suppressor. As you can see here, the same exact thing that we have on the MP5. So that's great. We get all these pros to it, plus the sound suppression to keep us as stealthy as possible. All right. So for the next attachment, I'm going to go with the 50 round drums. This is pretty much subjective. It really depends what game modes you're playing, but no doubt about it, whether you're playing multiplayer 
or you're playing Warzone, you do want to choose between these two accordingly. Now, in my personal opinion, for Warzone, I would definitely put on the 50 round drums only because in Warzone, you know, enemies do wear plates. So you have to shoot through that to be able to down your opponent. And you might have extra opponents around you that will be trying to rush you. So you always want to make sure you have as much ammo as possible. Now, for multiplayer, you could use 30 round mags. This will decrease that movement speed by just a little bit, but not too much, not as much as the 50 round mags. So this part is really subjective. You could either go with the 30 round round mags or the 50 round drums it's really just on you and what you prefer do you want more mobility or do you want more insurance to know that you don't need to reload as often another cool thing about this weapon that's very similar to the mp5 is the fact that it uses nine millimeter rounds so you would want to run a secondary that has a nine millimeter rounds for those pistols and then put on the extended mag on that pistol and then put on the fully loaded perk that way you maximize the amount of ammo that you carry on your primary which is going to be the iso so for the rear grip no no doubt we got to put on the elite iso grip this one's gonna give us aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed pretty much basically the stippled grip tape just named something else and then for the stock i do actually recommend putting on the iso collapsible stock now the reason why is because the movement speed on this gun is a little bit slow and sluggish when you put on those 50 round drums so you do want to mitigate that negative of the mobility with the iso collapsible stock so i'm going to put on the iso collapsible stock keep in mind i maxed out the weapon and i was engaging in long range combat with the iso collapsible not that hard to control all right so for the last attachment we're going to want to control that recoil control furthermore so what we're going to use is the merc foregrip now the reason why we're using the merc foregrip is for three reasons yes i know it only shows two on the screen but it does give you a recoil control and hip fire accuracy which we do know but the third thing is that movement speed it actually does increase your movement speed and that's why you got to check out that website it shows you a lot of hidden stats that the game doesn't tell you so we're going to put on that merc foregrip so we're able to control that recoil from long distance if we need to engage in those gunfights and then also it gives us more mobility to move around the map a lot faster and of course that hip fire spread is going to be a lot tighter so that we can hip fire our opponents from close range uh so these are the attachments that i do recommend and this works whether or not you're playing multiplayer or in warzone i do recommend these attachments remember in warzone just a reminder you do only want to use the smg for up close and personal you want to carry an ar or an lmg for long range combat hopefully you guys did find this video helpful if you guys are curious about the an 94 i did a breakdown of that as well comparing it to several meta ar weapons in the game so check out that video click the link on the top right hand corner of the screen make sure to drop a like on this video if you did find it helpful and let me know down below in the comments do you think that the iso is a competitive weapon me personally i feel like it's a top tier weapon right up there with the mp5 it feels like the mp5 the recoil patterns just like the mp5 the time to kills are nearly identical i had a hard time debating whether or not which one is actually better in most situations leave a like on this video if you did find it helpful and subscribe if you're new around here and i will see you guys in the next video peace